Well, hello, it's time for another story with Joel Johnson. Well, this is Easter, and I want to tell an Easter story. The story resonates with a man by the name of Joseph Campbell, a great philosopher. He tells the story about a man walking down one of the busiest streets in New York City. You can hear all the cab drivers going by, all the cabs, all the cars, all the buses. Everybody honking their horns, yelling, screaming, shouting. It's a very busy time. A very busy street. A very busy life. But as you go down the street, you come to one of those old churches. Big, beautiful, majestic churches that was built you know, over a hundred years ago. And as you go into the church and you leave the filth of the city, you leave the noise of the city, you leave the troubles of the city, the shouting of the city. And as you go into the church, it's quiet and it's still and it's peaceful. And as you go in there, you change from one situation to another situation. A transition takes place. A transformation takes place. And you go from being in a hurry and being in loudness and busyness to slowing your pace down and being quiet and being reverent. And instead of hearing the shouts on the streets, you begin to hear the whispers in your soul. And things change. And to me, that's what Easter is all about. It's about changing. Easter is in spring. The time when everything that's dead comes back alive. The flowers bloom again. The trees bloom again. The sun comes out even more than it did before. Things begin to grow. Things change. The story is told of Jesus, who died and rose again. A change took place. And Christians who celebrate Easter believe that when they have an encounter with God, they change from death unto life. So to me, that's what Easter is all about. A change from the loudness of the world to the quietness of the spirit. From the busyness of life to the reverence of God. That's what Easter means to me. May God bless you. I hope you have a great Easter. And thank you for listening. Have a great day.